Amid the ongoing uh, Rohingya refugee crisis, Miss Grand Myanmar has been stripped of her crown. This half the 19-year-old uh, put up a Facebook post accusing Rohingya Muslims of acting as vehicles of terror and violence. She also called the Arakan Rohingya Salvation Army a caliphate-style movement. Following her Facebook post, the organizers of the competition dethroned her, citing breach of contract, saying that she was not behaving like a role model. Remember, Myanmar has defended the security operation against the Rohingyas as a legitimate crackdown on militants who attacked police posts last month. As a representative of Myanmar, formerly known as Burma, to compete in this Miss Vanna National is truly an honor for me. The unique nature of this pageant is that it encourages the contestants to promote peace. Therefore, it's only natural to be expected by the public to voice my opinions and concerns on the recent violence and massacre happened in the United state of my country. When one is addressing the plight of people, one should only do so only as a human being, not as someone who is belonging to a race or a religion. And I'm doing just that, since the seriousness of the suffering of a fellow human being is the same regardless of their faith or nationality. Accordingly, I must impress upon the universal fact. In here today's uh, foreign affairs editor Geeta Mohan spoke to Shwe N. C., who said that uh, she was dethroned without notice and was only given a feeble excuse. Take a look. Missy, you are from Myanmar and this was an important title for you. Has there been any response because we've been trying to get in touch with the organizers ourselves but I have not really got a response from them yet. Did they get in touch with you? What did they really say and what was the reason? Uh, they didn't get in touch with me, that's the thing. They didn't send me any warning, they didn't send me any message or anything by phone, by or by text, they didn't do any of that. Instead, they avoided contact with me for one week before they dethroned me. And I only found out that I was off my title when I saw that notice. Right. So no explanation given to you. Uh, they have said that you have you had not behaved like a role model, quote unquote. Uh, what do you make of the statement and the reasons that they're giving? Um, they they have got five factors in that notice about uh, why they deserve me. And even though that notice came out, a lot of people thought this was just excuses. This was just reason because even after they have read this piece of paper, they still haven't understood the reason why they, they had to be burning me. In that notice, they said that I'm not ready for the pageant. They say I'm not training hard enough and I'm not doing things in the right order, which is barely an excuse. And the second, they said that I'm not able to show my um, education certificate. But that the case is, Ms. Grand uh, Myanmar, they're stripped of her crown after the 19-year-old put up a Facebook post accusing Rohingya Muslims of acting as vehicles of terror. In fact, she also called the Arakan Rohingya Salvation Army a caliphate-style movement. We have a Horn Affairs editor, Geeta Mohan, who's with us uh, live via Skype this afternoon. Geeta, it seems that uh, Ms. Grand Myanmar wasn't able to understand the delicacy of the situation here. Well, that's right. Miss C, uh, while on the one hand uh, put out a very strong statement, but it was a statement and a point of view of the Myanmar government, which she still continues to stand by. All she was trying to say was that look at both sides of the story and not just one while reporting matters. And uh, on that, because we know that there are concerns with regards to humanitarian crisis uh, that exists within Myanmar, the organizers dethroned her, uh, stripped her of a title. But the big question over here is that was she informed? Was the, were the warning sent according to her there was no communication from the organizers to her she only learned about uh, the uh, the her, of her uh, being stripped of her title 
after she returned from a travel and it was only uh, i think a week before she uh, she has to travel to vietnam for a competition which she'll not be going to but uh, but also she's uh, she's talking about the kind of threats she faced being from myanmar uh, from from a majority community in myanmar the kind of threats she herself was facing online saying that they will uh, and these are death threats that she falsity bad blood that we can see uh, coming out uh, from from the story of one individual on the issue and the things and the and the social fabric of uh, Myanmar that has caused such splits in the society uh, having said that for now uh, what uh, what this former uh, beauty queen is talking about is the fact that she was voicing her opinion and without having consulted her or even sent her warnings uh, she has been stripped of her title and has been dethroned an issue that Myanmar government uh, considers a very uh, sensitive matter a matter of national security a matter of national security concerns for Myanmar but the international community is looking at it as a humanitarian crisis and people from all walks of life should be looking at while the security right. issue should also be looking at the humanitarian angle of what's happening within Myanmar and her statement of course coming as an embarrassment for uh, the state thanks so much uh, Geeta for those details we're going to keep coming back to you for more Thank you.